Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Benny Dangerous, and I'm gonna do something a little different than I did in my last video. I'm gonna walk y'all through how I mix the track for my boy Jay Breeze, featuring yours truly, called Melanin Girls. It's out now on all DSPs. So without further ado, let's get into the session. All right, so when Jay sent me the vocals, right, uh, first he hit me up to do the song, and you know I recorded it. I was really excited. Like once uh, I got my verse down, kind of heard a little bit of a rough draft of what it would sound like. I really was ready to hear the full product, and you know, life just getting in the way. Like he's a dad, I'm a dad, and he didn't have time to mix the stuff himself or get with his engineer. So you know, everything kept getting delayed. So I just hit him up one day. You know, I'm like, yo, I'm getting into the mixing and mastering game myself. I was like, yo, just send me the vocals and, you know, I'll mix it. And, if, you know, you just let me know if you like it. Yeah, I mixed it a couple times. He loved it. And, you know, we got the finished product that's out right now. So I just thought it would be a cool video since the song is out to, you know, just walk y'all through, like, my mindset of, you know, how I go into mixing vocals and, you know, just show y'all the things that I do to get stuff together so this is a two, two track session um so i did we just had the instrumental and he sent me his vocals and then i recorded my vocals here and just mixed everything raw he did a little bit of processing on his a uh, little bit of clean up eq a little bit of uh, auto tune he may or may not have done compression i'm not 100 percent sure uh, but you know so it was already some work done to the vocals so I didn't have to do too much to his so I'm gonna play the track I'm gonna play a little bit of the track since the song is out you know whatever uh, distribution he used I know they got content ID on it so this video might get flagged not a super big deal but I try to avoid that whenever I can so what I'll do is I'll play a little bit of the track maybe about 10 seconds or so then I'll just mute the instrumental just play his vocals and then my vocals and acapella when i go over the different chains and stuff that i use so here's just like 10 seconds of the hook so y'all know you know what the song sounds like You know, it's all dope track, real smooth. You know, I got to have a little bit of fun with my verse when I wrote it. And yeah, it was it was a really dope collaboration. So let me go ahead and mute the instrumental. So like I said, Jay did a lot of, um, did some pre-mixing uh, before he sent me the vocals, but I still did a little bit of cleanup. Uh, TDR Nova, this is usually a free plugin. I uh, upgraded mine just because I love this plugin so much and it had the a few other features that I really really like so I wanted to upgrade it to the gentleman's edition and I just did like a basic cleanup EQ uh, I have this template that I just created you know from because this is always like my go-to for mixing my vocals for the album so I just created a template because I will make a lot of the same moves on my own voice uh, and I don't think I really changed much on his. I might have changed the size of the Q value, but for the most part, uh, I kept most of it the same. You know, so I just did a high pass filter at 100 hertz, uh, a little bit of, of a dip in 250 where you hear you get a lot of mud and buildup there. Uh, there was this very resin sound that was in the 1K range that I cut out. And then I always use this dynamic function right around here just to tame some of the sibilance a little bit. So that's why I like using it for vocals because I can kind of do a little bit of pre DSing before I put it into the actual DSer. Then I use, you know, this DSer from T Rex. T Rex, I will always sing their praises because I got their full bundle and I, I use all of their, I use almost everything that came in it. For the uh the max bundle I just use this uh male ds it really wasn't like that big of a i didn't really have to do a lot of dsing so i kept this one pretty much the same on the preset i'm big on presets like 
if you can uh, like that's another reason why i like the t-rex stuff so much because a lot of their presets are pretty much good as is i may need to do a little bit of tweaking here and there this one i didn't have to tweak much uh, especially since the dynamic EQ is already taken care of some of that turbulence. So it's uh, just a little bit to kind of catch stuff that might get a little harsh on certain S's and T's. Then I use this Opto Comp. This is my first time using it on, on anything really. And I usually go for the LA-2A, but I decided to try this one out and it sounds really good. Like it's pretty much about the same, but you got a little bit more control well, you have, yeah, you have more control because you have control over the ratio, the attack, the release. And I use that smooth uh, vocals comp. I think I just changed the output and then I might have changed the release time a little bit. But everything else I pretty much kept as is. And it helped smooth out the vocal a little bit more. And then analog obsession. Like I tell people all the time, I, said, I mentioned it in my last video. I'm always big on like finding freeware wherever I can before you before you go out and buy like the big uh, expensive $200, $300 plug-in. This, this guy, especially one guy, Analog Obsession, is so dope for what he, he does. I made sure to become a Patreon backer to support what he does. Because I use, just like with T-Rex, I use at least one Analog Obsession plug-in on every mix that I do, whether it's a beat, whether it's vocals, whether it's a full song, like you're gonna find at least one of these plugins on here. And I that's why I say I gotta support this guy and what he does. And I just use this to boost a few places. I cut with one EQ, boost with another, especially after I was taken away so much with the previous um, processors. So I boosted it uh, 120, hertz to give it a little bit more body took out a little bit more at 0.5 and the low mid uh, boosted 3k and then did another boost at 10k to give it some air just kind of fill it up a little bit give it a little bit more body so i'm gonna play i'm gonna play from the verse this time i'm gonna play i'm gonna play a little bit of it dry and then i'm gonna play it uh with the full chain enabled yeah maybe around that Melanin girls, you're perfect. Don't let them say you ain't worth it. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. You're the type we should keep. Melanin girls, I'm for the weed. You got on your pearls. Red bounds on feet. I'll give you the world. If you brought with me. Yeah. Melanin girls, you're perfect. Don't let them say you ain't worth it. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. You're the type we should keep. Melanin girls, I'm for the weed. You got on your pearls. Red bounds on feet. I'll give you the world. If you brought with me. Yeah. I feel like it just kind of comes alive a little bit more uh, with the stuff that I that I added to it. it. Just gives it a little bit more presence, and you definitely feel it when the instrumental is playing. Uh, and then, of course, I muted it before the playback, but I, you know, I put everything on a uh, a bus as far as like reverb and delay go. Love this sunset sound, you know, you as plate reverb and then like studio room reverbs that really sound nice so i just use the the spring reverb the low function and then of course you know eq'd it a little bit to you know keep get, make make it sound a little bit more cleaner a little bit cl more clearer when the vocals are hitting um and then i use this this tape echo and i've only used this a few times it's not my go-to delay plugin but i like this one because it gives it like kind of a, almost a lo-fi-ish tape character combined with the delay that I really like. And I think it sounds really good on backing vocals. Uh, I've I used it for like majority of the vocals on this track just to give it like a little bit more character, I guess. Like give it more character with the delay. And then I use this ducking uh, fruity limiter uh, setting to just kind of help it be a little more clear like the way this set up it's only going to trigger the echo part after the word stops so it's not a lot of like you know not a lot of like the stuff the echo jumping on top of the, the vocal like it only 
uh, it stays hidden until after the the word stop. So it gives it that echo effect that it needs. And so yeah, I route everything to a bus. I meant to mention that in the beginning. Like all of the main vocal parts for Jay, I put to his own J bus. And then for mine, my verse, my ad libs, and then route them all to their own channel. And then route all of those vocals, those buses, to a vocal bus. Then I side chain that to the beat because we're using a two track. And then I use a kind of like a transient shaper to, you know, give the two track a little bit more body that it may lose when you add the vocals to it. So kind of like prep that before I then use this preacher patcher preset uh, to kind of help blend the vocal in so it's not just sitting on top of the track where it actually feels a part of the song kind of gels it together. And on the beat and the vocal bus, I use this uh, auto gain uh, plugin. I sometimes I'm I'm really bad with like measuring uh, vocals and the instrumental and how they uh, sound together, especially because you know with the family and stuff, and uh, being that my studio area is kind of open to anybody. I don't really use my monitors as much as I probably should. So to get that balance right, I use this to kind of help, you know, uh, make sure that those levels are exactly where I need them to be when I put the vocals and the beats together. And so that was Jay's, that was Jay's part. Mine, so this is the difference where his had a little bit of processing before I got it, mine had none. So, so I recorded it, you know, in this room with this microphone and just did a little bit to actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would considering like, you know, the condition that I kind of, I usually do a little bit more prepping. I don't think I prepped a lot when I recorded this vocal. So this is almost on every vocal I record. It just gives it like an analog sound. I don't really use the EQ outside of just the high pass filter and I turn up the input gain to give it that saturation. Typically I use type two, but for this vocal, I use type one for the transformer. Just gives it like a different kind of sound for me and I really enjoy it. Uh, so that's really all the moves I do on that one. This one, I decided, now I recorded this months ago, so I can't remember the thought process. I'm assuming though, maybe, the level or, or like because I'm kind of rapping in a more like monotone kind of style versus how I usually record with like more aggression more emotion more like animated that I might have felt like I needed to put some more body into the vocal before uh, before like DSing and subtracting so kind of similar to the move that I did with Jay boosted it 110 I cut a little bit more at 0.2 in the low mid this time. You know, boost it again, but just a bigger boost for 3K. And then instead of 10K, I boosted at 5K. And I don't know why, I just, it for my vocal, I just feel like that just sounds really good on that high, high frequency. So gave the track more body, gave the vocals more body before then DSing. And I used a more aggressive DSer because I because I felt like I was, you know, my sibilance was getting out of control with this, vo this uh, vocal. A lot of S's, a lot of like, you know, uh, bouncing back and forth, you know, uh, flow switches and stuff like that with, with my verse. That, you know, for here and there, you get a little like, you know, lispy or uh, a little harsh with the T's and the S's. Made similar moves with the TDR Nova. I showed you that's my go-to for subtractive EQ right now with uh, cleanup. And this thing right here is really cool. I, this is like the first time I used this one on the vocal and I love it to death. It's this vocal strip plugin. Um, and it's pretty much an all-in-one for the most part. Only thing it doesn't have is like a cleanup EQ, but it has a, a additive EQ. It has a DSer right here, which I didn't use. I used the, another DSer. It has its own high-pass filter, 
did a little bit more high pass here because you know uh, after the other processes were added it felt like I still had a little bit of that like low information that didn't really need to be there um, and it had and it has these three parallel compressors which is really dope they sound really good and it's designed for vocals so you, you know you can't overdo it but it's it makes it to where it's really hard to overdo it and get a bad sound out of it which I've really, like really tried to push it and play around with it and I feel like it um, you know I feel like you know when, it takes a while before it, it gets bad like before it sounds terrible so I use all three just you know different various amounts just to get the sound I wanted and it has a, its own reverb delay color you know saturation distortion uh drive here and like i really like it it's I, from what i could tell from like the different presets in here it sounds like it's it's more designed for rock vocals but i really like the way it sounded on my voice i actually and went in and just created like my own little template to save and like kind of go with and make tweaks you know whenever the case calls for it but yeah man this thing was dope i'm glad i was able to use it and i think i'm gonna be using this more often it's not this isn't my usual chain for my vocals but i, re I really like the way this one came out so again i'm gonna turn everything off play the vocal you know just dry and then I'm going to uh, play it with the chain. Black women, Always. whether light skin or dark skin, it, it don't, don't make me no nah. difference. As long as you a melanated woman with a nice smile, dimples always been a weakness. I like them skinny and I like them thick. As long as you turn around and the thighs still match and see. All right, so now here with the chain at it. Black women. Whether light skin or dark skin, it don't make me no difference. As long as you a melanated woman with a nice smile, dimples always been a weakness. I like them skinny and I like them thick. As long as you turn around and the thighs still match and see, I prefer natural. But if you bought it, baby, I ain't mad at you. I'm just saying, I'm the type of nigga that's gonna love whatever your mama done gave you. See, I'm trying to come into your life and make it more comfortable. I know beauty comes in different. So yeah, I, I think that that sounds great. That sounds great. And like on the track itself, is, is really good one thing I, I did forget to mention so Jay didn't have ad-libs for his but I um I added some for mine so I'm gonna go over a little bit of the processing on that one uh, I like this lifeline console I use it a lot on melodies and my ad-libs just because it gives me all I need for the most part in a in like one place and I think that sound, and I think it sounds really dope and really clean. So I use this radio fake preset, and I just make you know little tweaks and stuff wherever. You know, a little bit of EQ just to kind of make sure it's not competing with the main vocal. And I use this, this supercharger vocal preset to kind of help with that a little bit more, kind of keep it even balanced out. You know, like compression does. Uh, I kind of keep it either here or I might push it up to four. But I really use it for this side chain feature because, you know, it, it again, it helps it not comp compete with, you know, my vocals, my, my main vocals. So it helps kind of duck it out the way, uh, you know, so it's still there, but it's, you know, not competing and it's not stealing the spotlight from the main attraction, which is the main verse. And I just use the saturation. Uh, this dirt function just because I want to uh, give it just a little bit more life You know, it's being ducked out of the way But I don't want it to just completely fade into the background and you know not really be heard Especially on like smaller speakers like on phones and stuff I don't really have to play that one y'all know what ad-lib sound like but I think it really like helps So that's pretty much it. You know, I played a little bit of the song at the beginning um you know, you heard the before and after the vocals. And, you know, hey, that's just my process when it came to this song. Make sure y'all support the track Melanin Girls by Jay Breeze featuring Vinny Dangerous on Spotify, Tidal. You know, I don't, you know, uh, keep my peoples from posting on, uh, you know, DSPs. Y'all do what y'all want. You know, so if y'all want some Vinny Dangerous and y'all still only want to support through the streaming platforms, 
yo you gonna catch my features on there but yeah man but that's the end of this video don't really know what else to say make sure y'all let me know in the comments what y'all thought of this video uh you know what you want me to do next you know i'm i'm working on a couple other videos uh thanks to the people that voted on my broadcast channel y'all be hearing about that next video soon but until next time it's your boy Benny dangerous much love <laughs>